take you back to the year of 2008. There's young me who walks into a news agency with my grandma who just wants to buy me something. So I'm looking around for a comic book and for whatever reason here in Australia, they don't sell many comics in news agency. You might be lucky to find an Archie comic or a Commando comic, but that's about it. So anyway, I'm looking and then I see this one right here and it got my attention. The Phantom. That's a pretty badass name if you ask me. So anyway, I pick it up and I have a quick look through it and I notice straight away, it's in black and white. But, I got it anyway. So anyway, I get home and I read this comic and I don't know what it was, but I was hooked. The Phantom quickly became my favourite superhero of all time. And it's funny how it all started in a comic that didn't really feature the Phantom in it. In this one right here, he's dying. So, let's just check into it. The story opens up with Goran, who for new readers sake, he's basically the Alfred to the Phantom. So anyway, Goran is trying to nurse the Phantom back to health, who has been shot in the gut. And it ain't looking good for him. Goran, in need of medical supplies, decides to leave the Phantom and head on out to the jungle to find some special flowers. The Phantom sees this as a perfect opportunity to test his kids who one day may have to turn into the Phantom. The 21st Phantom dying and passing on a torch to the 22nd Phantom has always been a huge debate between the Phantom community. Some people want it to happen, others they just want the comics to stick with the 21st Phantom because that's what we know. It's been like that since the beginning. The children of the Phantom named Kit and Helios head on out into the jungle with Goran. And they are both really excited to learn about poisons and stuff. The wounded Phantom starts to have second thoughts about having his kids go on out into the dangerous jungle. But he then decides it is for the best. I mean, they have to learn at some point. How else will they become the Phantom if they can't look after themselves? The next morning, Helios and Kit wake up to Guran, who is no longer with them. Not that he's dead, he's just disappeared. Yeah, see what I did there? It is revealed to the reader, that's you, that Guran is alive and well, and is just watching Kit and Helios from a distance, because, don't forget, they need to be tested. Guran then makes some really impressive animal noises. I mean, Helios thinks it's a man-eating lion. Fearing for Goran's life, Kit equips himself with a bow and arrow, and now he's ready to fight. Goran's growling manages to get the attention of an angry leopard who is now watching him from a distance, ready to pounce. And he does. Kit takes a shot at the leopard right before it hits Goran, but they both manage to fall down this big cliff. And Kit and Helios don't even realise that Goran was there. Kit and Helios then play detective and spot Goran's knife. Now they know he was near, and hopefully alive. So the two head on out searching for Goran, not knowing that he is, well, very close by. Later that night, Helios and Kit, who have been searching for hours, have had no luck in finding Goran. So they devise a plan. They decide that one of them should run on back to the Skull Cave and get help, while the other continues to search. The two decide that Helia should be the one that runs for help because she has better wind than Kit, whatever that means. Knowing how dangerous the woods are at night, the two decide it's best to wait until morning, so they sleep. The next morning, Helios makes her way back to the Skull Cave where she runs into the Phantom who is still in costume and is, for the most part, Better. We then cut to Kit who has found Goran who is fast asleep. We then see Kit is preparing a meal for Goran when he wakes up, but then the devil shows up. So not the devil, Phantom's devil, as in his pet wolf. And Phantom is close behind. With the help of some tribe members, Goran is then lifted to safety with some real cool jungle technology. Just look at that. A week passes and we see that everyone is happy and healthy again and they share a nice meal. It is then revealed that Kit and Helios have learnt a secret, a secret that only the Chief and the Phantom know. 
and that's the location of these poison berries. The story then ends with the Phantom and Diana taking a nice walk through the woods and they both share their concerns for the future. But they come to realise that the future of the Phantom line is in good hands. And look, they even get a good kiss out of it. And that, my friends, is issue number 1511, Goran Disappears. Once again, the first Phantom comic I ever read. This story touches upon a subject that is quite sensitive to the Phantom community. I mean, some people want to see the 21st Phantom die and the 22nd Phantom taking over. Others, they just want the 21st Phantom and nothing else. The way I see it, if the Phantom comics were to end one day, it should end with the death of the 21st Phantom and his son taking over as the 22nd Phantom. Unfortunately though, that would mean the end of the Phantom comics, and I don't like thinking about that. <laughs>